it's very clear how much they listen to the community. <gasps> this looks like a DDR machine. You can control leap years as well. Setting a toilet trap and the mischief skill went up. If you're returning, welcome back. If you are new, foodie solo, I am Rose. And today we have an update from Rod Humble himself going over some gameplay concerns and questions. That is all I know. This is going to be my first time reaction to it. So let's see what he covers. Hey everyone, how you doing? It's Rod here. So there are two things. Uh, first one is going to be super quick, which is talking about dishwashers. And I'll, I'll walk you through that in a second. And the second one is more in depth, and that is economy tuning and how much currency, how much money um, a character should start out with. It's got this uh, script attached to it, and that can do you know, just about anything within it. Okay, whoa, whoa, wait a minute. Wait a minute objects scripts and progressions as we saw before we could go in and change like some modding of what that object does we have definition display name okay how much it costs the level um and the rarity of it i like that especially for collectibles okay i guess this is the model that you bring in um like the 3d model but it's also got these. Ooh. <gasps> I love seeing the arcade machine. That's cool. Look at these different um arcade machines. A bowling alley thing. <gasps> this looks like a DDR machine. Or inspired, you know. This looks like the racing games. This looks like the um crane machine. A little basketball net, ping pong, table tennis. Yeah, arcade right here. Armchairs, bar stools, bathtubs, beach. It's really starting with quite a nice amount of items from the get-go. This is pre-alpha time and yeah, there's going to be quite a lot of things from what I can see so far. Not just... um furniture and objects for indoors but outdoor features as well that i can see like um even not the foliage everything like that it's such a variety so far okay so basically how much the washer can load wow okay okay so dirty laundry capacity they're actually tracking the length it takes washing them, running time, and the reliability. Okay, that makes sense. Water waster. There's already things that we can actually start putting kind of like eco-friendly or not eco-friendly objects in place. That's cool. Okay, we have the different levels. Entry level, less bad washer, okay, good, best. I love that you have these options to do that with the objects right in here. These levels actually can be as high as you like, so it can go up to hundreds. And level zero ones and low level ones generally have problems. So in this case, level zero ones are a water waster. And what that does is that will add to your daily utility cost bill. So you get charged for electricity, water, uh, uh, gas, if, uh, if appropriate, and so forth. This is not available on build mode. Like, you have to go and buy it or discover it in a store. Or you have to build it by crafting. So okay, okay, yes. I got that now. That would be cool with the crafting system. It can be very, very handy because you don't necessarily want everything to be available all the time in build mode. Um, you know, sometimes you'll want to uh, out of the gameplay. For modding, say you have all these different collectibles you can't find them in build mode you have to find them around the world then also say you can get rewarded an object or something after finding all of them and you can only access that through finishing the quest okay so i'm assuming that putting dirty dishes in the sink is that what you see over their head when it's telling you what they're about to do basically the text it shows in that area the event 
um, timeline that we have. That would be that. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Look at these um, furniture sets for kitchen cabinets over here. Like an overhang. They're like, they just keep giving more rather than less. Oh my goodness. The decor items. This is where you can just override the cost. So you can say, hey, instead of going in manually and changing every single plant's cost, like, you, know, you can just do it in the progression. So you just tag them. So you want to have a whole bunch of different objects within a set for a mod pack that you're making. How helpful that would be to just have your, your base prices. I was just about to say something before we got to this screen okay let's back it up i kind of feel like i'm having conversations with rod in the sense that it's very clear how much they listen to the community that there are certain things that i voice that i'm thinking about that a lot of us happen to be thinking about and then they just return back with this okay here's the next step and oh what you said about this and it just feels so personal i really really like that um where he's thinking you know there are so many there's so many of us and how we would prefer to play the game it is life by you they're staying true to that name where it's like okay you know what you can customize it but how much do you want to put into that you don't have to go in like others might want to you may not even play with mods at all you may want to have it as simplified as you can or you may just be the type that brings in your mods or the type that you're going to customize this thing like crazy and if you want to that's there and now let's look at this um this next screen here next thing i want to talk to you about is the starting cash so excuse me before you do that <laughs> did we see the set world time so june 1st 7 30 on a sunday is it a leap year you can control leap years as well you need to stop set human yearly human relationship human death script human pass out oh my gosh the next thing i want to talk to you about is the starting cash so here is the current tuning i got a comment uh talking about their concerns on how much objects and things to purchase were versus the minimum wage that humans get and how that might be concerning on livability like living comfortably and it's nice to see that we can actually fix or change or even make conditions worse if we want for the minimum wage i think if if somebody wants to do a you know a hermit or somebody who's completely off the grid i think you can turn it off if not i will make sure uh, that we do that but uh, by default you get um a, a universal basic income which essentially is going to be good enough for you to uh, start to make crafting income from all of our crafting s systems if you want yes so the first household member we give you uh two hundred thousand and a little bit extra and then for every additional adult or teen, you get 500. And then for each child, you get 5,000. Okay. So this tuning means that you can afford one of the starting houses and a scooter or a bike. But you can't afford a car. What in the world? We can set how well a shop is doing? Of land tax 
not just uh eco because eco goes along with that like saving buying things or objects that save water like um when i was talking about those families that would choose to grow their own things garden like he said living off a grid saving water it's a power hog or a water waster i love that that's cool i think that's um Maybe that's fertilizer. I don't know that you can get from other things. But anyway, so that is the the economy one. And oh, I see down here leaky pipes as well. Object traits, leaky pipes, lawn care, cost reducer. To be honest, I was worried at first because my first thought was okay this is going to be have so much depth the modding possibilities etc etc and then i kind of stepped back when i saw the gift trading feature and there was no response from the game there was no emotions that came up from receiving the gift it was kind of dry there was no oh my gosh, you gave me such an expensive gift, which would be easy for the game to tell how much something costs. There was no tagging of where the gift was from. And I didn't see any showcase of like uh, memory being added of this person gifted this to this person, things like that. And I was worried that certain features that they have wasn't going to be weaving together as it should like acting with it, each other and so that kind of worried me i was like okay i don't want to have um that miss where you have everything in place and you're overlooking that these features should be triggering each other but I think that can easily be sorted out with the community's feedback and and basically get right back to the true potential that this game has. I also forgot to mention that you also get charged charge for your clothes. So that will also come out of this amount. So it makes, it makes tuning um, quite uh, challenging. I know the last time they were covering the feet, I'd say proportion-wise, the legs, they don't look strange. For sure they don't. Um, and these shoulders are great. They look much better. Granted, we are looking at a masculine form. Um, it's usually the feminine forms that I've seen. The shoulders, like, all the way in. And it's... it's I really would like spawned in humans to have like a set restriction where the sliders don't go past. We can actually have set body types that we can save and I'm sure we can be able to share those body types as well in the community which is awesome. Not this character's name being Elmo and this hedgehog styled hair is um i did want to start with um you know a a car i could do sorry about the light nice that that is nice like literally just click it and type it right in there's no codes or anything like that Ooh, i like the area here overlook like a cliff overlooking the water here right by the bridge Oh my goodness. There's going to be so many spots for homes. Sounds in. And it's it's a it's a question of how A toilet. <laughs> Setting a toilet trap and the mischief skill went up. You know, Elmo. I I knew there was something about you. I had a comment remind me when I was talking about, I have a video where I was talking about seeing in the car dealership a little white um, device at the middle of the door, the sliding doors. And I was like, I don't really know if there's um, 
thievery or uh, stealing or anything to worry about that's so i don't know about alarm systems and the comment reminded me that yes we actually did see pickpocketing happen so wait a minute and we have um mischief as well this is all also who who's elmo trying to trick with the toilet trick because um elmo you live by yourself so make things creatively using creative projects like on the laptop you can write novels or you can okay he just answered what creative pro projects is when i saw that in the mod creator or the creator tool hub i was like what is creative projects i have to see and that is actually just like a collective of crafting creative things that you're doing writing i love that oh did you, yeah i was he said it just when i was about to say it the i observable okay and i and then now i want to know can we ride with someone else like imagine two people riding together and one of them in that car is in a relationship with someone else and then you see them driving together let me not get ahead of myself but i, I wonder if we can ride with another person or even ride with your family like what if you take your child to school i wonder if down the line that's possible this update first of all was very very nice i personally feel that starting moderately as a base starting right in the middle is a perfect place for players where they can work their way up they can be able to choose how much money they want to give that certain character based on the story they want to go for and then give them less money and have them start with basically not much etc they can make that choice to do that but it's smart to start moderately and then they work their way up because i feel like that's a sensible starting point then um being able to do the backgrounds i think makes a lot of sense especially with the backgrounds that i've seen so far with the frugal family the wealthy family things like that um we may have families within our games and situations within our games that we want to link up and if we're making quite a few humans it would be nice to go ahead and you know have those traits especially since we see inherited traits as a thing yeah it makes a lot of sense to have that that's personally what i feel let me know in the comments what you think about this update if you're hungry for more life by you deep dives click the video on the screen right now enjoy